Previously on Living Hakuna. We travel from Miami to Key Largo and have one of the most amazing sailing days. I'm Andrea, that's Alejo, and those are our pairs, Ozzy and Echo. We left the corporate world in Miami to become digital nomads and chase the wind kiteboarding. Join us as we sail an adventure in our dream home, Hakuna. What's up guys? So today we are, we picked up my family yesterday from here in the Keys and they're joining us today as we uh, motor our way out to a scuba diving spot called Molasses. 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 And yeah, it's we're super excited. It's our first time scuba diving from the sailboat. Growing up, we lived far from the ocean, but I always loved the water. My parents had a scuba diving shop and my dad would always take me with him on his trips with his students. It had been years since we had been in the water and there was no better way to go back than together as a family. The dive shop used to be called Dive and Sail because they once dreamed of having a sailboat to go diving, so it was a family dream to be here, to go diving from our sailboat. My dad prepared the equipment once again, just like he would back then, and we all got ready to jump for an amazing dive. The entire day was windless, so the visibility was just beyond amazing. Excited. The visibility is incredible, so we're super excited to go down. We were back, back where it all started. For once, we were only focused on breathing. A deep sense of relaxation took over, making everything move slowly. I could almost hear my heartbeat slowing down. The peaceful sound of the ocean underwater and the feeling of being weightless. It's absolute freedom. It almost feels like flying. We were free from gravity. We connect with nature and become one with the ocean. I'm curious about the fish, but I'm a giant alien in their world, so they're curious about me. A profound love and respect for the ocean takes over, reminding us how much it needs our protection. Eating and living sustainably is now more important than ever. Creating awareness for animals like parrotfish, the only fish that eats algae and dead coral helping regenerate our reefs should be one of our priorities. We want to save our oceans. We want to save our reefs. Sharks are also disappearing. This fascinating fish that have been around for hundreds of millions of years are now endangered. 73 million sharks are killed each year for their fins and not enough people care about their conservation. But truth is, they're the only ones that can keep balance in the marine ecosystem and are integral to the carbon cycle. But you, you can help. You can make eco-conscious decisions while spreading awareness among your friends. It was awesome. We saw sharks. We saw. How do you say barracuda in English? Barracuda. 
Barracuda. Whatever that's called in English. It was great. Awesome school diving tank. Yeah, I'm thinking awesome diving. We just launched our Patreon account, right? Yes. If we make it to 20 patrons by the Miami Boat Show, we will be doing our first meetup here in Miami. Be able to join us here for a sundowner or join us for a day sale. There's multiple things you can gain from being one of our patrons, so check the description below and join us in our Patreon account. Get ready, people. <laughs> Very excited. Let's keep going with the video. Peace. We arrived yesterday from Key West, and today we're actually moving to no name harbor by miami we're um alejo is leaving to chicago for two days and i'm gonna be staying with my sister so we just wanted to make sure that the boat was protected because it's gonna be really windy this weekend there's a pump out station inside of no name harbor Nice. So we're going to pump out our, our tanks and say um, and fill our water tanks as well. We, we, when we come back, hopefully we'll clean the boat, or if we make it today, we'll clean the boat because it's really, really extremely dirty, it's super dirty. So yeah, pump boat station right there. Putting fenders. And we're almost good to go. King never stops being stressful. Never, never, never. disgusting and the nasty reality of black water tanks. It's seriously disgusting.
had to go up the mast again because the antenna for the Wi-Fi Ranger, ooh, this thing is moving, is not working. So I have to take off the Wi-Fi antenna. Alejo is down there. This is the antenna that I need to take off. Let's get to it. I got the antenna. Mm -hmm. We're done. I'm super tense right now. This makes me really nervous. I'm, not, I'm, I'm a bit scared. I'm a bit afraid, but it's okay. We got this. You gotta face your fears, right? I'm fine. I'm safe. I'm alive. Mission accomplished. We did it because you didn't let me drop. You didn't drop me and let me die down there. Yeah, it was like me going up or Alejo going up, but I trust Alejo more <laughs> with the lines, and I don't trust myself so much with the lines. So <laughs> that's why I rather be up there it's really scary for whoever's up there i really swear it makes me really nervous it's really high the mast is baby how tall is the mast it's seven to two feet tall so and i went up like halfway we were missing what like 20 feet probably we were missing like 20 feet that means we went up 52 feet so it's it's really I can't imagine if we ever have to do a full 72 feet. I would, oh my God, that would be so scary. <laughs> it makes me, uh, makes me twitch my stomach. So yeah, so um, I'd rather go up there, be the one scared and have Alejo. I trust Alejo with the lines. I trust him with my life. And he didn't feel that comfortable trusting me with his life. What's up, what's up? <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. We also like to ask you guys if you to support us to grow our channel by liking the video and also make make sure to subscribe. Yep. See you next video. Peace. <laughs>